Sekarang kita beralih ke teknologi, Google terus mengembangkan bisnisnya. Kali ini membeli perusahaan robot Boston Dynamics. Google kembali membuat gebrakan. Kali ini mereka membeli perusahaan robot militer Boston Dynamics. Perusahaan ini membuat robot tercepat yang dapat berlari dengan kecepatan hampir 47 km per jam. Selain itu, robot ini juga bisa merangkak, memanjat, dan merayap. Robot ini dinamakan Wildcat. Boston Dynamics merupakan perusahaan robot ke-8 yang didekati Google sebelum dibeli. Penawaran dari raksasa internet ini menunjukkan mereka serius dengan pengembangan robot di masa depan. Sebelumnya perusahaan robot ini juga mengembangkan Big Dog. Robot tanpa kepala, berkaki empat, berbentuk anjing raksasa yang dilatih untuk melempar benda berat dan berjalan di atas rumput yang tidak rata. Look at that, Rory. That's called the wild cat, I believe. We've also got the big dog, but we'll talk. We'll look at that in a minute. The technology is phenomenal when you look at that. That's sci-fi. It's extraordinary. This is a company that's uh, been incredibly viral, very popular on the internet for the last couple of years. It's come out of uh, MIT, those, those boffins at MIT. It's building these extraordinary robots, which must cost a lot to make happen, that kind of satisfy our need for robots to be kind of creatures. It's got, it's it's got, funded by the military, though. Is that, is that well, what? most of the contracts, yes. exactly. Most of the contracts are uh, military contra uh, contracts. They're, there's the possibility of these being used in warfare. So very interesting that Google's plunged in and bought this company. Okay, I'm going to bring up the big screen. Bring up the screen, the big screen. I want to bring up the big dog on the big screen. This is you talk about, you know, warfare and uh, and different terrain. This thing apparently can go over all sorts of terrain. Um, what is Google doing? The the eighth robotic company in six months. Well, six this months. this is uh, an extraordinary thing that's happened just in the last couple of weeks. We found out about it in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Google suddenly revealed in the New York Times that it's bought seven robotic companies in the last six months, uh, and now this is. An Eight. And interestingly, in charge of this whole effort is a guy called Andy Rubin, who was the head of, wait for it, Android. He was the, he was the brains behind Android. Uh, Android, uh, which was, was nothing to do with robots, was a software system, an incredibly successful software system, a mobile operating system running on smartphones all over the world, the dominant smartphone operating system. He stopped doing that. We thought, well, what's, what's he going to do? You know, they were very vague about what he was He pops up running this project, which says how important it is to Google. Because this guy, top man uh, at Google, seen as a huge success. Now he's doing what would look to many like some kind of crazy side project. And he's interestingly, he's doing it in a, yet another division from... Because Google's already got a, a, a wacky ideas division called right, Google yeah, X yeah. that does things like... Uh, uh, self-driving cars and uh, uh, those Google glasses and so on. But this is a whole separate division. So it seems they're really serious about robotics. What they haven't said is what they want to do with it. Yeah, because then we, we, hear, we heard that announcement not long ago from Amazon, right, talking about the possibility of drones, which are a form of robots that fly, basically. So, I mean, is there talk in, in your world about what could be done? I mean, I... well, there's, there's, there is talk about what Google might do with logistics. Obviously, that Amazon announcement about the drones was all about logistics, about getting things from one place to another in a hurry. People are speculating, could you use these robots in two ways? First, in manufacturing. We think of manufacturing as being largely automated. There are still a lot of tasks in electronics manufacturing that are done by people picking things up, doing things repetitively. Could you get robots to do that more efficiently? And could you use them in deliveries? Mm. Could you have a Google self-driving car pitch up outside your house and out comes Andrew Robots uh, and oh, well, I've, listen, I've, I've, you've, got, you've got about 20, 20 seconds or 30 seconds. I mean, we're at a point in, in, in terms of technology where we're turning a corner where this is, this is going to become a reality. We're starting to see robots. Ro ro robotics is a huge field. It's been mainly dominated in the Far East. Mm. South Korea's put a huge amount of money into it. Japan, obviously. We're now seeing Silicon Valley. Look thinking, at that thing hey, right there. We want to be I mean, involved in this amazing. too. amazing. <laughs> These are the most advanced uh, walking robots in the world. They're, they're 
their uh, cheetah one can run faster than Usain Bolt, so it's a really high-speed robot. Yeah. So, so there, it's quite a surprise that Google have just acquired them as well as the other companies they acquired. Well, let me ask you that. This is the eighth robotic company yes. in a, what I, I believe in in six-month period. So, yes. I mean, the question is, people are going to be asking, what is Google up to? It's very difficult to know. They're not. They're keeping their cards close to their chest. Um, they've got uh, Andy Rubens as the director of this lab, and he's from Android, the head of Android. So they mean business here. But Google are already really advanced with their autonomous car, which is legal now in Nevada and California, although nobody else can afford the insurance except Google. <laughs> but these big companies, people are guessing what's going to happen. Some people are saying, well, they're going to be for domestic use. There's a lot of buzz around the robotics community about it. And other people are saying, well, you know, they can imagine the autonomous car showing up at the door and a, a, one of these humanoid robots getting out and delivering parcels. So that's the optimistic view. But for the moment, you have to remember that the big surprise for me, not the other companies, but the big surprise for me was Boston Dynamics because it's a military contractor and they have a lot of military contracts including that big Atlas humanoid robot. And what Google have said is they will continue until the contracts have ended, but they're not intending to become military contractors. Mm. But uh, there's many, many, many millions of dollars to be made here, yeah. and, and we're worried that they might continue along this path. Well, let, let's talk about millions of dollars. And correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of the robotic development around the world is done by sort of smaller tech firms. Um, once you've got a might like Google behind it, which has got a mighty big tech book, could that push the field of robotics, do you think, um, you know, into the, next, into the next era? I really think it can, yes. But you have to remember that all these things you're saying are all uh, computer-controlled walking robots. Now, the hard bit has been getting them to walk and articulate that movement. Honda's Asimo robot that everybody knows was probably the first about 10 years ago that could walk and balance properly. So it's a balancing problem. And you can see Google's new Atlas robot can now walk over stones. Although in the last test it broke its ankle, unfortunately. But it can walk over stones. So I'm expecting to see really big push in mobility. Now in terms of intelligence, that's a whole other matter. Google have not been into that business much, except for their autonomous car. So people shouldn't be expecting big, th you know, super intelligent thinking machines. What you're getting is computerized robots. And it'll be some time before they can do much other than deliver parcels.